Hey, thanks for stopping by. Somewhere underneath that massive heat sink, there is a two by 16 kit of 3,200 megahertz of RAM. And I'm gonna show you how to overclock your RAM to 3,600 using an X470 motherboard. And you can see right there with task manager opened up, it is at 3,200 megahertz. Let's go into the BIOS and change it to 3,600. All right, you can see we made it into the BIOS right there, and you can see I'm running in a Prime X470 Pro motherboard with my Ryzen 2700X. And you can see right there at the DRAM status, that is the default RAM speed at 2400 megahertz. And if you look towards the bottom, the DOCP, I have it enabled at profile one to run at 3200 megahertz. That is the rated speed for this RAM. But what we want to do is we want to change it to 30. 600 megahertz and to do that we want to go to the bottom right hand corner of the screen and we want to click on advanced mode and then once you've done that you want to click on ai tweaker which brings up this screen and you can see on the docp i have it set to docp and you can see there's the rated 3200 megahertz but what i want to do is click on that and I want to choose 3600 megahertz. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, our new RAM speed is set. And just a quick disclaimer, I've had this motherboard for a year and a half and I know all the ins and outs and what this motherboard can do and what it cannot do. So please do this at your own risk. All right, I'm going to go up here to exit, click on that. Then I'm going to click on save changes and reset. And then this screen comes up and you can see we're trying to go from 3200 megahertz to 3600 megahertz. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I'm coming back to the computer, my tower, just to see if it can boot. And there you can see task managers open and we are running at 3600 megahertz. And now I'm able to enjoy that 3600 megahertz, squeezing all I can out of that 3200 megahertz RAM. And just remember folks, this is for entertainment purposes only. Please make sure you do your own research when overclocking your RAM. If you found this video useful, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing. And as always, I'm gonna see you in the next video.